What's up fellow traders? So today you are in for a treat because we're gonna teach you how to find the most important trading levels easily. So I think a lot of uh, new traders or struggling traders who struggle with uh, finding the important levels, right? Because um, let's face it, drawing levels could be you know very subjective, right? Do you draw it here or do you draw it you know like here, correct? It's, it's really tough. Okay, and that was one of the challenges that uh, we faced when uh, we started trading. Okay, when we were still developing our edge in the market. But fortunately, we found a solution to that problem and today we want to share this with you for free. Okay, so this is not like we're trying to sell you something. You know, today we just want to give you value because uh, our channel has really grown and I uh, want to thank you for your support. Right, to so, um, staying subscribed as well as watching our videos, right? Our previous video uh, had a lot of views, and um, yeah, we'll just carry on to turn out content like this. So, anyway, back to today's topic, right? How do we find the most important trading levels? Okay, so uh, let me just take you through this four step process, right? Number one, oh, as you can see over here, is take note of current price. Step two is visit this website. Step three is plot the important levels, and step four is trade accordingly okay let me just make a disclaimer that uh right let me just put it here disclaimer right this is not a trading strategy okay this is just a tool okay a tool to uh, help you be a better trader to show you the levels okay this doesn't replace the trading strategy right if you have a strategy you're currently using you can use hand in hand with this uh uh tool that we are using but it's actually meant to help you, especially when you're very confused, uh, when you're not sure which levels uh, the market is actually looking at. So this is a foolproof way to find that levels. Okay, so let's just go through the steps. Let me clear these zones first. Okay. Okay, so number one, we'll take note of uh, the current price. So you can see over here that the current price is 1.11, okay? 1.11 which is a round digit. So let's go on to uh, this website over here. Okay, so what is this website? So this website, you open it up, it's, uh, it's actually a heat map. Okay, so you might ask, what is a heat map? Uh, heat map actually shows the distribution of volume across uh, the prices. Okay, so of course we don't have a heat map for um, the spot market, which is this one over here, Forex spot market, but uh, we can use the futures contract. Okay, futures over here. Okay, you just select the product. Let me just show you over here. Right, this is CME Group. Okay, use this right as a reference. So over here we have selected uh Euro US dollar open interest and volume heat map. Okay, so for those of you who are not familiar, okay, uh in options you have something called a call and a put. Uh, what, what happens when you buy a call is actually similar to a long position, meaning that uh, you expect price to actually go up. Okay, and in a put, you actually, it's like a short selling position. Uh, if you buy a put, you're just expecting that price will go down. So naturally, you see over here that this is a call section and this is the put section and these are the strikes. So you might ask, uh, why is the strike? Now, strike is just the price that people are buying the option at. So you can see over here, these are all the volumes. So question is, how do we use this to our advantage? It's very simple. Just look at the area of concentration uh, of those with the highest volume. So you can see over here that uh, about uh, 1.135 to 1.55. This is a very, is, you see that there's a lot of uh, volume over here. So naturally, you know that this zone is very important. Okay. But previously, we mentioned that the current price is uh, 1.11. And of course, we are only interested in uh, the immediate support and resistance level. The immediate uh, significant support and resistance level. Okay, so if we're at 1.11 right now, so you see that actually, oh, 1.11 is actually a very important level. You can see that uh, the amount of put at this level is a 5k and 3.9. So this is a very, very, very important level. Okay, so you can draw, just draw you know, a zone here. Okay. Just a moment, let me show it to you. 1.110. Okay, I'll just put a spread in just to draw the box over here. Okay, so you know that this is an important level. Okay. So the question is now price actually uh, 
you know, it's at this level. So you see previously this bar closed below and now it's back at this level. Okay, so the question is, uh, let's say you were to short right now. Okay, where is the next significant level that you should be paying attention to? Okay, we just use this heat map over here and you can see that the next significant volume is actually this level over here. Okay, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, volume over here. So naturally, you put uh, 1.115. So if you are taking a, uh, you know, a short position, you want to take note of this next level. Okay, let me just include the spread so that you can see it. Okay, so this level is next. Okay, so this this way of uh, looking at charts gives you uh, the key levels. You know, just use this heat map. So let me just demonstrate one more time. Okay. So let's say that price were to break a one point one one. So where's the next level that you should be looking at? So if you just look, uh, oh sorry, I think I make a mistake just now. One o five zero. Okay, sorry, I think I made a mistake just now. Okay, so just now I should have highlighted this instead. So if this level is broken, the next significant level is one point one zero five zero. Okay, which is this level here. On the upside, if this level 1.10 is broken, then it would be this one over here because this is the next volume, right? It has the most uh, number of puts, okay? So if we just plot it over here, okay. so you can see. So at a glance, you know that this, you know, it's, it's very, it helps you tr in trading in a lot of ways. For example, I know above this level, I'm going to see this. Below this level, I'm going to see this. You know, this is very easy to trade. So uh, just, just to summarize, right? First, we take note of the current price. Then we go on to visit uh, this website over here. Okay, uh, you can copy this now. Okay, this website over here. Then we choose the product. So in this case, uh, we're looking at Euro dollar. Then next, we plot the important levels, which uh, in my case, I've demonstrated this level, three levels over here. Then, then we trade according. And lastly, we want to just repeat the disclaimer that this is not a trading strategy, right? This is just a way for you to uh, have a good idea of where is the most important trading levels at a glance. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, if you love content like this, right, comment down below um, about what, what do you learn from this and what type of content you like so that we can generate more content which will help you to become a better trader. So till then, we'll see you in the next video.